Rebecca of Pocketful of Posies. Today's project is an Edwardian corset cover, an evening corset cover, and I made it mostly to wear with my Narcissa Malfoy bodice, which is late 1890s, so I figured Edwardian would work too. Why not? Because my corset cover that I already have comes up too high in the front and the back and it can be seen underneath that evening bodice. So I made an evening corset cover. And without further ado, let's get into it. Here we go. I used a Truly Victorian pattern, TVE02, and started laying out my pattern pieces on white cotton wall. I cut out the pieces and got ready to start assembly. I began by marking the gathering points on the front pieces. Next, I pinned the facings to the center fronts. I then sewed the facings. I turned an inch and then another inch on those facings covering the raw edges and top stitched. I pinned the back to the fronts at the side seams. And I sewed the side seams. I trimmed the seam allowances and realized that I had forgotten to do French seams. Oops. So I zigzagged the raw edges. To bind the top, I used pale yellow bias tape. I thought it would be cheery. I added lace to the fronts. I sewed it down then I trimmed the seam allowance and turned the bias tape to the inside covering the raw edges I secured it with a whip stitch. My next step was running gathering stitches on the bottom fronts.
Then I pinned the waistband on. I pulled on the gathering threads to fit the front pieces into the waistband. I took it to the machine and sewed the waistband on. Next, I turned the waistband to the inside and sewed it down with whip stitches. Button time! I used some shell buttons I had in my sash. My buttonhole foot has disappeared. I have no idea where it is. So I sewed the buttonholes by hand. Thor and Loki made sure I was sewing neatly. I don't know, maybe it's just seems too big in, in here. So I'm wondering, so the straps are if the straps go there. I mean, I guess it is supposed to be kind of blousy, but I'm wondering if I, I don't know the best way to do that. I mean, would that look super weird? <laughs> If I uh, just did a little pleat, ultimately, I did choose to do two little pleats on each side. I checked placement for the ribbon straps and sewed them on. Lucius helped. and it's done. I'm happy with how it turned out and I may make one in black sometime. Thank you so much for watching. You're all so amazing and I really appreciate you spending your time with me. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and a subscribe if you haven't already. If you'd like to be notified whenever I upload, you can hit that bell icon. And if you want to continue to support the channel any further, I have a coffee account and that is linked down below. Again, thank you so much and I will see you next time on our next sewing adventure.
Bye.